Bitcoin right now on the verge of breaking out to new 2023 all-time highs. We got Bitcoin at 35,500 as we speak. It is November 7th. It's Tuesday. It's 2 10 p.m. And this is a crypto market update. So we're going to first dive into the dollar. We're going to go into the stock market and see what's going on here because we got some big developments. If we look at the dollar right now, we have, you know, we have a triple top basically, you know, one, two, three, and we broke the neckline here and put it right there. And we're seeing continuation lower so far. This is saying a target down to here about 105. If we go down to like a four hour chart, let's take a look at it. So we came back up to retest basically where we were finding support this whole time. And now we're breaking back down lower. And we do see the stock RSI is now starting to curl over. We do wanna see the TSI start to curl as well too. But as I said, you know, going to the higher time frames like the weekly chart, it's looking pretty positive for the dollar to roll over, for bond yields to roll over. And um, all we need to see is kind of more downside this week. And the stock RSI will cross down, the TSI will cross down, and we'll confirm um, the dollar downtrend. And really, we want to break below 104 for that nail in the coffin. So then if we go to the stock market, right? So the US NAS 100, we have this massive bull flag that's been forming. And it looks like we're breaking out of the top of it right now. And we have a target of 19,500, which is a new all time high over here. So if I go to the daily chart, yeah, clear, clear bull flag. And the candle that we had today was confirmation of us breaking out of the downward sloping trend line. The resistance coming down here. We've seen one, two, three, four taps of resistance and we've seen multiple taps of support. And now we're seeing us come up here to, to break the top of the channel. And now we're sitting at this 1618 breakout extension from the 786 right here. From this top down to the bottom, we broke out the 786 and we're right at the 1618. So. If we can see a daily candle close above 15,400, very likely we're gonna come up here to test the 1618 breakout extension, which is a breakout from the 786, as well as the 2618 extension, which is the, the breakout from the 786 here. So that seems like our very likely target. And then we have this downward sloping wedge, which has a target up to here as well too. So this definitely seems like where we're heading next for the stock market, and that would be a revisit of all time highs the all time highs back from December 2021. So that looks like our next plausible area to go. We have the one day buy now signal multiple times during this dip, third time's the charm. It looks like we're ready to rattle. And then if we go to the three day chart, yeah, you can see how we have the 786 that we broke out above. We had this high down to the low, broke out of the 786 and that 1618 extension targets at 16,203 as well too. So that's gonna be the next level where the stock market US NAS 100 goes especially if we can see that TSI cross up and we're getting real close for that to happening. If we go to Bitcoin, so we're at 35,482 right now. Look at already up 75% today, massive. And then we have this upward sloping kind of trend line of support. And then we have this kind of like resistance holding us down like this. And we can connect the bodies on this because it makes more sense. So really, if we can have a candle body close above 35,600, we could be ready for more upside to hit the target of like 38K. Let's throw that back up. So the FIB forecaster, we'll put it to swing trade. Yeah, and we can see that the next target would be this 4236 extension breakout, which is 36,582. And that stems from this high down to the low that we set in October to the breakout of the 786 to immediately hitting that 1618 to coming back down to hold that 786 as support. Another retest of the 1618, shot right up, smooth through the 2618, right to the 3618. That's where we've been hung up. And we've been doing like a bull flag, kind of ascending triangle type of thing. And it looks like we're pressing up to the top right now to try to break through. So if we look at the one day, no, sorry, the 12 hour TSI though, we are crossed down. So we're gonna need to see this cross up to get the power to do that. If not, if we see a push up to new all time highs for 2023 and the TSI does not cross up, then it's gonna be a fake out. So watch for that. And it's very likely we'll see if we do have a real breakout this 12 hour TSI come up and form a new higher, it'll form a, a lower high than before, but we'll make a higher high in the price action and that will start to stem some bearish divergence where then likely we'll probably see a correction after the next high. So let's say if we go to like 36,500 or we go up to 38K, maybe 40K, we'll do some bearish divergence and then we'll likely roll over to retest this same area again. This seems like it's gonna be our, our new area of 
kind of where we like to hang out. If we go to the one day chart, we need to see this cross up ASAP as well too. The stock RSI has cooled off, which is good because we maintained where we're at, but we need to sooner than later see price really start to head up here or we run the risk of correcting lower. So we wanna see that stock RSI cross up, get through that 50 line, just like it did back here right before our big rally. Same with the TSI crossing down and then crossing up. Same kind of stars are aligning right now. So that's what I really wanna see for Bitcoin. And on the one day chart, we have that sell now. But if you watch the last video, we compared it to the same time frame of November 7th, 2020, where we had a lot of sell nows in here on the one day. But that was the start of our big run, just like how November 6th of 2023, we had to sell now, but we could just be ready to press up. So we're heading into a new market environment. I believe we're turning a big corner for the crypto market at large. So that's what I'm looking for for Bitcoin, the stock RSI, TSI cross up on the one day chart. We look at XRP, we're at 69 cents. We go to the one day chart. We can see we had a correction, but then we got bought up real quick. We have ripple swell happening, I think today or tomorrow. So we're seeing a pump because of that. It happens every single year. It happens every single year where we have a pump into the event and then we usually top during the event. So I'm expecting more upside for XRP. We could probably hit this target of 73 cents to maybe 80 cents, 88 cents, but I do see a correction to follow there on after. We have the one day sell warning, so maybe we can come up to here, but then have a big correction back down. Then we can kind of recover a bit and then we can send it up for, for new highs for this year. So that's what I'm watching for XRP, but the one day sell nows, buy nows have crushed it for the past seven years. So it's not to be taken lately, these sell warnings, but we're riding this trend line up as we speak. So we can grab it from the lows in October. And as long as we're maintaining this trend line up, we're fine. We're, we're good for more upside, but as soon as we break this trend line, then we're gonna have a substantial correction. Um, and note that we have that conference and usually we will see um, a top during the event. So, and it's coming up close here. So that's a one day chart. If you look at the four hour chart, we're holding this 21 moving average. I'd wanna see that hold. So really I wanna see 67, 66 cents hold. If we break that, we're likely gonna come down to test 61 cents, maybe even 58 cents, 59 again. So that's what I'm watching for that. We go to the three day chart. We have three day sell warnings, I believe for XRP. Yeah, we have a three day sell warning. Look at the last times, you know, last time. So as soon as we see that three day sell warning go away, it's likely we topped because see how we have the three day sell warning. It goes away. That's the top. Sell now came in a little later. Three day sell warning went away. That was the top. So I'm going to be watching for when the three day sell warning goes away for XRP's top to be in. And then XLM will follow XRP as well too, but we got another long entry signal here, just like back here. So it looks like we're we're gonna get ready to press up again for XLM. And we have this downward sloping trend line like that, that we broke out from. We just need to get back above 0.128 for XLM. That's a shorter term. And we're holding this support trend line that we built since back here in October. Support, support, came down again, support. So it's likely we might take another shot up to 13 and a half cents. If we can break above there, then we have a target up to around 16 to 17 cents for XLM. And for XLM, I think we have a one day sell warning. Yeah, clearly holding this trend line support. Same thing with XRP, support, support, support. We could, yeah, come up to around like 14 and a half, 15 cents. We have the falling wedge breakout. That would bring us to around that 16 cent target. So I don't think we're exactly done yet, but we're getting close. Three day chart is just now starting to cross up. Getting above that 13 cent level again for XLM could get us up to 15 and a half. So that's what I wanna see next for XLM. We do have that one day sell warning, which we need to take note of. And I think we, ha we might have a two day. No, no two day. And not even a one day actually. So we only have a 12 hour sell warning and we actually have the sell now flashing right now, but it looks like we're gonna recover it and that's gonna get negated. So, so far so good. As long as we can press up back above 13 cents for XLM, we're money. So that's going to be it today for the market update. Things are looking decent so far. We just need to see those levels hold for Bitcoin. Bitcoin runs the show. We need to see the dollar cool off. We need to see the stock market continue to press up, get those cross ups. Remember what we're watching for for Bitcoin, the one day stock RSI cross up and TSI cross up. XRP, remember, we have the conference, remember, 
that the trend line and if you're a start day VIP and you have the signals, watch for when that three day sell warning goes away because likely the top is in and then XLM as well too. So that's going to be it guys. I'll see you in the discord and in the next video.